Am I the asshole for canceling dinner because my girlfriend didn't feed my daughter lunch? Not another kid one. Ah! Come on, bandit healer. We have to protect these children. I, male 33, have been with my girlfriend, female 30, for over a year. She quit her job as soon as she moved in with me, saying that technically she's a stay-at-home mom since she takes care of my five-year-old daughter. I thought her decision was odd for many reasons, including the fact that my daughter is only comfortable with me taking care of her needs. Yesterday, I was at work. Since my girlfriend is still getting used to my daughter's routine, I decided to help by making her a schedule and even setting alarms for certain activities like showering. At 1 p.m., my daughter was supposed to eat her lunch. It was on the schedule, but I still texted my girlfriend to remind her. All she had to do was reheat the food I cooked the night before, since I'm the one who's doing the cooking. I got home at 5 and found my daughter in her room with some chips. I asked why she was having chips at the time, and she said it was because my girlfriend didn't give her lunch. I asked why, and she said she had friends over. I was livid. I rushed to confront her, and she tried to downplay it, saying she forgot. And chatting with her friends made her forget. I said it was bullshit, since she had the schedule. She said I was judging her for still getting used to my daughter's routine and forgetting stuff. But I literally texted to remind her. She claimed she didn't see the text, but her phone never leaves her phone. I think he meant never leaves her pocket, or her side, or her hand. Her phone obviously never leaves her phone. I've decided that I won't be cooking for her or her family, who were supposed to come over later last night for dinner. She freaked out saying I couldn't do that and put her in this situation after I agreed to cook for the night. I said it was done and declined to keep arguing it. She started screaming that I was being too harsh on her, not giving her time to adjust properly. She ended up canceling dinner with her family, but is pretty much pissed at me for backing out last minute. So the question is, am I the asshole for canceling dinner because my girlfriend didn't feed my daughter lunch? You know, without hearing the ages in the beginning of this, which she is 30, as a reminder, you would think that she was like 19, 21, maybe 25, not 30. At 30, you should be able to adult, at least to a bare minimum. And feeding kids kind of meets that bare minimum functions list for adulting. It's not like she forgot to give her a freaking vitamin. She forgot to give her a meal. As a parent, I get it. Life gets crazy. And, you know, sometimes you as a family don't eat until later than you would eat. But in this situation, she had what seems like a very strict schedule, which is something we'll talk about in a second, a completely different side to this whole thing. She had very clear instructions. And it sounds like she had a very clear set of expectations that she just decided to say, eh, fuck it, too. For all of that... She is definitely an asshole, sounds super immature, and at first glance, not knowing more about your relationship or about her, I'd say she's not ready for a relationship with someone who has a kid. Her making the choice to be a stay-at-home mom when she barely knows your kid and, you know, wasn't ready to accept that was essentially a decision to let you support her. She didn't necessarily want to take on the responsibilities that come with that role. Now let's take a look at dad. Dad is super protective, schedule driven, probably a bit of a control freak, but he's adulting. He's taking care of his kid and he's trying to make sure his kid is taken care of when he's not the one doing it. He's building schedules. He's doing the cooking. And I understand 100% of why he reacted the way he reacted and, and why he felt the way that he felt. You don't get a grace period when getting used to a kid's routine. You just do it. Especially if the parent has written things out that need to be done, you need to do those things. It wasn't a suggestion list, it was a schedule. Use it as such. Dad is going to have to realize that his girlfriend here isn't ready for all of this. But dad also needs to realize that if he's going to have a relationship with someone who's going to be involved in caring for his child, there needs to be more of a teamwork approach and not the babysitter approach, which is what dad has taken here. He left instructions like he was leaving them for a babysitter. Maybe she started off as the babysitter. We don't know. Nah, she would have failed at babysitting. Never mind. Dad, when you do find someone who is capable, willing, and loving, and fits in with your family, and loves your daughter, and who wants to be a part of this parenting team, you're going to have to take a teamwork approach and not dictate orders to them. Be aware. Now let's talk about the daughter. She's only five. So minimum expectations, right? But I would think that even a five-year-old would speak up and be like, hey, yo, I'm hungry. Can I have some lunch? Every single one of my kids would have spoken up and been like, hey, what's for lunch? What are we doing for lunch? Can we get Chick-fil-A? 
Can we get tropical smoothie? And if we end up doing tropical smoothie, then I've got to put on my yoga pants, on my muscle tank, and I've got to match everybody else that goes in there, right? Anyway, most kids would speak up. We don't know if she did. That's not covered here. But whenever he confronted his daughter about why she was eating chips, she said it's because the girlfriend didn't make lunch for her, which kind of says to me that she didn't say anything. She just put the blame on the girlfriend, the 30 year old girlfriend. This is a five year old. I have no expectations. I'm just a little surprised that she didn't speak up and be like, hey, uh, can I get some freaking lunch? Yo. So that's a little surprising. And it may be an indicator that this five year old girl doesn't really care for the 30 year old female girlfriend. All kinds of red flags. So let's go ahead and cue it. Confetti time. Anyway, dad, no, you're not the asshole, but things are going to have to change in your approach if you want to have a successful relationship with someone who is involved in parenting your daughter. Be prepared for that. Girlfriend, grow up. You're the asshole. I imagine the girlfriend was sitting around drinking wine and laughing with her friends and has no idea how to care for a child at all. Something like, but do you feed it? Do you give it crackers or does it have its own bag of kibble? At what time should I go to the bebe's chambers and release her from her cage? Where does it go to the bathroom? Yeah, dude, this whole thing's a mess. Move on.